Harris and I are here in the Red River Valley in North Dakota. You can just see for miles along this flat land. It's different than anything else we've seen before. Yeah, significantly different. The projects are going to be different too. We're going to see a ag site with Ellingsons. And we'll check out the plant in Fargo. Let's, Let's go. go. Hey, welcome to Fargo Prinsco. Sorry about the right hand, but I had a rotate car yesterday. So. Sorry to hear that. We're happy to be here. What are we going to see? Uh, we run a lot of egg products, so what you're going to see on the material for the egg side is a quantity of different things. We're going to see some repro in it, maybe a little bit of virgin, a lot of regrind, which is basically just something that's probably not going to hit anybody else's spectrum of, of usage, and so we can make pipe out of it. So we're going to take something that's going to end up in the garbage and we're going to turn it into something useful, uh, get some sustainability out of that product. Um, a lot of our soils are sandier, so we're going to run a lot of sock and a lot of narrow slot. You can see out of Princeburg and some of our other plants is a lot of perforated product. So we'll take a look at the 4-inch, then we're going to look at the 15-inch flex. That's again our kind of our specialty. That's the inside inner wall of the flex. So very flexible, a lot of give in it, and allows us to bend that around. Talk a little bit more about the sustainability of the Princeco products. It really starts with first the material, like we talked about already. But sustainability is more than that. It's really managing that water, getting these farmers able to produce higher quantities of crop in the same amount of area that they're doing it in the year before, right? So if they can manage that water and keep the water just right so it's not either flooded or too dry or too wet, they can get a better crop. Water always has to be maintained, controlled, cleaned, reused. Water's recycled. It, it, it just moves from one spot to another. So we've got to find ways to make it um, useful and, and, and proper for us to, to, to maintain what we do in the agriculture business here in Fargo particularly. So sustainability kind of goes through the whole entire system from what we make to what the customer sees out of the end. Well, you guys, thank you for visiting Fargo. We really appreciate you coming. Yeah, thanks for showing us around. Take care, safe travels. How you doing? I'm doing good, guys. How are you? Hey, welcome up to the job site. Griffin. Griffin. What are we going to see today? We're here southwest of Fargo, near Leonard, North Dakota. Red River Valley is a, is a big old lake bottom here where we're standing today. So a lot of acres to, to be drained and a lot of potential for farmers to be able to uh, capitalize on that. They have a, a business to run and they need uniformity and they need to take the risk out of it. And that's something that between Ellingson and Princeville, we can offer that to them. So to what extent can drainage improve a farm? Lots of extent. You know, here in the Red River Valley, salinities are a big issue. A lot of guys are targeting the, the real salty areas, so that helps leach that out. On the flip side of that is, you know, keeping the water table managed, having that uniformity across the field, obviously then resulting in a more uniform growth for crops. So we want them to be as profitable as they can, maximize every bushel they can off this earth. We got a lot of people to feed and a lot of mouths, and, and it relies on all of us together to make that happen. Right now we have two crews out here. The magnitude of this project, you know, a full section, we don't do those every day. You know, we got a lot of dirt to move, a lot of mains going in. That 15 inch flex dual wall has really been a game changer for us. Before, you know, we had 10, 10 foot sticks. Uh, we had a boot that we would throw the sticks into. Um, with the high water table sand, the, the sand and water would go into that boot and it would fill it full. This obviously alleviates that. All of our connections are made above ground now. This, this flex dual wall has definitely you know, worked out in our favor for sure. So explain to us the importance of the lift station. A lot of these projects in the Red River Valley don't have adequate outlets to just have a gravity outlet. So what we'll do is we'll put a lift station in you know, generally you know, somewhat of the lowest point in the field and work away from it. But at that point, we can control our depths in the field more. Guys that already have their, their fields uh, tiled Let's say they don't have an irrigator on it, they can turn their lift station off and all the water that is in the ground will just sit in the pipes, yeah. which in theory will help irrigate their, their crops that they yeah. have. You know, obviously the more people see it, more people see the benefits of it. Farmers are talking to each other, I just tiled this field last fall, my yields increased by 20%, 30%, whatever it might be. Obviously that's, that's definitely a good thing. The magnitude of it has just increased, you know, tenfold compared to what we started doing when I started back in 2008. We started putting plastic tile in 1970 and we've dug tile up that's from 1970 and it looks absolutely perfect. So, um, you know, we're over 50 years now today with uh, the plastic underground and, you know, I, I see no reason this isn't going to last for another 50 plus years on top of it and, and maybe even farther. There's no more land being made. so. 
We have to produce more with less and drainage is one of the most important things in certain geographical areas that a farmer can invest in. You know, genetics have came a long ways that have helped, but at the end of the day, if you got too much water, it's tough to grow a crop. Well, super cool. We're proud of what you guys are doing and excited for the future of drainage. Thanks for your time. Yeah, you guys are welcome. Thank you. Super interesting. It's crazy all the applications that Prince goes in and can be involved in and the impact that those pipes can have for the field and for the consumer and for the producer. Hearing all the good things that the contractor had to say about the product was really good to hear and it's exciting for the future.